This rare home video shows a hummingbird's nest containing two tiny eggs. It was discovered and recorded outside the window of a Southern California apartment. When I first saw the eggs, I couldn't believe how small they were. I was excited at the prospect of seeing baby hummers grow. It was so intriguing to watch the little mother bird do her gyrations on the nest, and I guessed that she was moving the eggs around with her feet. I wanted to find out as much as I could about hummingbirds and their babies. I went to the library and discovered that there are almost always two eggs to a clutch. The incubation period is anywhere from 14 to 17 days, and during this time the mother bird leaves only to eat and maybe bring back materials to reinforce the nest. Early one morning, one egg finally hatched and another hummingbird came into the world. It was so tiny, and with its coloring, it blended perfectly with the nest. Hummingbird mothers feed their young pre-digested nectar and insects. When I saw the mother bird feeding the baby, I was thrilled beyond words. I was seeing something very special, something very few people ever see. The sight was breathtaking. At birth, the chicks are without feathers, so in addition to food, they are totally dependent on their mother for warmth. When I awoke early the next morning, the second egg had hatched. I felt somewhat like a proud parent myself. Now I could see two mouths anxious to be fed. The babies are born blind, and what they respond to is the movement and sound of the mother hummingbird approaching. The nestlings spent most of their first week sleeping and eating and seemed to grow right before my eyes. I started to see them move their wings and when I looked very closely I could see the rhythm of their heartbeats in their tiny bodies. As they grew they started to fill up the nest and shift around becoming more active. Soon they could stretch their heads to the edge of the nest and look over. Though still dependent on mom for food they weren't always hungry at feeding time. Now, she doesn't spend as much time on the nest, as the chicks help to keep each other warm. It was disappointing to learn that adult hummingbirds are loners, because these little ones seem to get along so well together. By the second week, they had grown very active, and practiced spreading their wings, which reminded me of butterflies. The birds were so lively and rambunctious, as kids often are. It seemed as though the nest was too small to hold these rapidly growing young birds and their mother. Whenever she was sitting on the nest, they often tried to poke their wings, legs, and heads out from under her. Before long, it was time to begin to practice flapping. It was exciting to see such activity. But they still needed mother to come by and feed them every 15 to 20 minutes. Gathering enough food to maintain her own energy and to keep the two babies alive is more than a full-time job, and it caused her to become noticeably thin. And I finally got to see how the chicks moved around in the nest. Sometimes they'd be facing the same way, other times they were in opposite directions. What a task turning around seemed to be. They use each other and the nest to navigate. With all the energy required in these operations, it's no wonder these birds need to eat so often. Then early one morning I awoke to the shock of my life. The nest and the babies were gone. If I didn't know better, I might have first thought that the birds had flown away. But hummingbirds stay in the nest 21 to 23 days after hatching, and these were only a little over two weeks old. And when baby hummingbirds fly away, they certainly don't take their nest with them. No, someone had intentionally taken the nest and the birds from the tree. And the dedicated mother bird was returning every 20 minutes to search for her babies. She kept looking for them. It was so heartbreaking.
After many hours of looking and talking to neighbors, it was discovered that a young child had taken the nest and the babies to her school for show and tell. The birds had been kept inside a tennis ball can and without any nourishment for more than 12 hours. They were very close to death. After their rescue, the babies were fed a mixture of one part sugar with four parts water. A little stronger now, they were placed in a makeshift nest created in a safari hat which was hung in the tree near where the original nest had been. The mother, who had been returning all during the morning, found her young in the hat and tried to feed them. A difficult task with nothing for her to perch upon. When twigs were added, that problem was solved. But the hat needed more modification. So a strawberry basket and pieces of lint from the clothes dryer became the finishing touches for the new home. A near tragedy had been averted, and the baby hummingbirds were back on course. Within hours of their ordeal, the baby hummingbirds began exploring their new surroundings. It wasn't surprising to see that one of the birds had made its way to the brim of the hat, where he could look over and see more of the world. The other birds soon followed, and my trusty old video camera captured it all. Unlike their small natural nest, the hat allowed them room to roam. Hummingbirds are very curious creatures, a trait that obviously starts early in life. By the next morning, the babies were huddled side by side on the brim of the hat. They seemed to be excited and looked like they were preparing for their first flight and their venture out into the world. Four days later, they had both made it to the trunk of the tree. The mother, who had always managed to find them, was still returning to feed them right on schedule. After several more mini flights of only inches, they each left the tree. And then they were gone. Often, when I see a hummingbird perched in the tree where the hat was, I wonder if it's one of those little ones coming back to visit.